Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dustin Mankin, and today we're gonna to be changing the air filter in my 2010 Cube. Now, I don't know what the air filter in the Cube looks like right now, but I bought the car used, and it's good to do some basic maintenance and stuff when you get the car. Um, so we're going to be going through like the regular like oil change, air cleaner change. I am going to clean the mass airflow sensor and the throttle body. Um, I've checked the belt. The belt looks pretty good. Uh, I have plans for the engine, so I don't want to do like a lot of big stuff, but I do want to get some basic maintenance, you know, some stuff that will hopefully keep me trouble free while we wait to get that kind of stuff sorted out. And that's why we're going to go ahead and change the air filter today. I don't know that it's bad, but I don't know that it's good. And for $9.99, this basic STP air filter will do fine. Now, I can't say for sure because I have a 2010 and that's what I looked up, but I do think that this will probably work for all of the 2009 to 2014. It has the same engine. It's pretty much the same chassis. Uh, don't take that as a gospel, but that's what I think. And for the record, that plain Jane STP air filter is SA10234. I paid $9.99 for this at AutoZone, and they did have a better one that was $19.99, but this will do until we do something with the engine. One of the first things you're going to want to do around here is uh, I always try to clean up around the area that I'm working on uh, to keep the dust and stuff from falling in uh, when we're removing stuff. Um, this is not anything special. Actually, this is just household household cleaner. It's not degreaser or anything like that. But uh, we just want to prevent the dust and stuff. So clean it up a little bit. And then there will be a tab here. And there will be a tab here on the other side. And you are just going to pull those in. Or push those in, rather. And then the cover should pop off like this. And then that reveals your air filter holder and the air filter. And yeah, I mean, it's not horrible. I've seen worse than this, but it's not good either. So we're going to take this and we are going to change this out and uh, I'll try to clean around here a little bit as well. And this just comes out like this, like you show, like I showed you earlier. Okay, out of the way. And let's clean down in here. And if it wasn't still the winter outside, I would probably just take this thing and uh, get a sponge and uh, hose it off really good and uh, let it sit out there and dry, but it's the middle of winter right now, so this is gonna have to do. Uh, at the very least, it's better than it was. There are leaves and everything down in that hole. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be down in there. Huh. All kinds of stuff down in there today. I just ended up running the vacuum in there real fast just so that I could get everything. There was a, some debris down in there, so you don't want any debris to be in your air box. Clean it out a little bit. So now we have our cartridge holder and we have the air filter cartridge itself. It's gonna be real simple. Take this guy out. And when your filter is in it, drop it down back into the slot. Drop your cover and then snap the lid back on and that is air filter change. Now, when you do an air filter change, they do recommend that you clean the mass airflow sensor as well uh, from some of the other mechanics pages that I've heard. So that's gonna be the next video. We're gonna take that guy out and we're gonna clean it. I hope for all of you cube owners that showed you the really easy process 
of putting in an air filter. Hit me up with likes, comments. Uh, if you're a cube owner, share it. I'll be sharing it around some of the Facebook groups and stuff like that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.